Hey, I'm Reza and we're back with another episode of To Invest or Not. Remember, this show is not a recommendation to buy or sell securities, but only suggestions for further research. Let's get straight to it. Last year, this stock rose about 500% at one point. In this year, 100% growth in revenue. We've covered them before here on To Invest or Not, and they go by the name Valio Pharma. Founded in 2003, Valio Pharma originally focused on dermatology and hospital specialty until 2014 when it sold its entire product portfolio to Valiant for $27 million. They came back as a Canadian pharmaceutical company dedicated to uh, the commercialization of innovative prescription products in Canada with a focus on respiratory diseases, neurodegenerative diseases, oncology, and hospital specialty products. Within these four areas, they have eight marketed brands and four additional products contributing to this year's revenue. Their model basically works like this. They find companies that have products in established drug markets that aren't in Canada. They establish a partnership with that company and then seek the license needed to commercialize and market that product in Canada. They skip the time-consuming and costly procedure of research and trial phase and go straight to the approval and sales phase. Their product portfolio includes Rodesca, a low molecular weight heparin biosimilar to treat and prevent blood clots, Hesperco, a capsule that supports the immune system, Onstriv, an oral medication for Parkinson's disease, Amelson, a narcotic painkiller for pain management, and Amatop gel, which basically works as a localized anesthesia for the skin prior to the puncture of a vein to either draw blood, administer fluid, medication or nutrition. And the asthma inhaler products Enazir Breeze Haler and Atectura Breeze Haler, which are expected to draw in more than $100 million in revenue by 2025. An estimated 3.8 million Canadians suffer from asthma and the direct cost of asthma is estimated at $2.1 billion per year and costs are expected to grow to $4.2 billion by 2030. Now, uh, solutions and meds for asthma are pretty much in high demand, and with the help of these two products, Valio expects a 20 times increase in revenue by 2025. So how far have they come financially at the moment, though? Well, an annual report shows that revenue and gross profit have been increasing, and the last 12 months show that revenue has almost doubled from $7.4 million to $12.4 million, and gross profit has doubled from $1.4 million to $3.7 million. Net debt doesn't seem to be much of a concern at this stage, with an LTM of $1.2 million, but the next four years would be something you want to look out for since they've recently pushed products like Enazir and Atectura Breezehaler. It would be interesting to see if VPH could attract new investors in the CSC, just like March of last year. Now, their price made the climb from $0.25 cents to $1.56. That's more than 500% gains. The new support now seems to be the $0.60 to $0.70 cents zone. Will new financial statements and press releases prove to be a strong catalyst for VPH? Would it be strong enough to push past its all-time high? The game plan for the next four to five years is set out for us all to see. Do you think the VPH is one of those stocks worth to huddle for half a decade or more to invest or not? There you have it, guys and gals, millennials and madmen. Remember, these are suggestions and ideas, not financial advice, so always do your own research. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'll be back with more.